Christopher. <laughs> Great to, to meet you, man. You, man. We've, yeah. we've been in Hollywood our, on our own, and we've never crossed paths. And you now know? we're both ABC dads. Yeah, ABC dads. Man, look, uh, how did you... Your name's Christopher. Now, I don't know if you've ever, ever talked about this before in the press, but how did you get the name Topher? <laughs> it's come up once or twice before. Uh, I was Chris when I was a kid. You know, uh -huh. my name's Christopher. Right. And people would call me Chris, and I, I wanted to go by... Christopher, my mom is a Patricia who uh, people only call her Pat, so she right. said, no, you should go by your full name. And I wanted pe people to call me Christopher. So they'd say, I'd say, hi, my name's Christopher. And they'd say, uh, nice to meet you, Chris. And I'd say, Tufer. <laughs> oh! And then when I went to boarding school, I kind of said as a joke that I might use it as my name. And the hottest girl in school said, uh, that's cute. Yeah, And I okay. went like, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, toe for grace. Yeah, so that was it. Yeah, it wasn't like a Hollywood thing or something. Just All right. Important. So we, we, we have a connection. I've produced Spike Lee on my television show. Oh, wow. He's produced and directed you okay. in the movie Black Klansman. Talk so to us you've about been that. his boss? I've been his boss. That's in, it's insane to imagine that anyone could be that guy's boss. Yeah, right. <laughs> so talk, talk to us about that, that experience on Black Klansman. Well, it was amazing. I mean, I was so lucky to get it, and he's... Uh, one of the greatest directors of all time. Right. Um, when I, um, <laughs> I mean, I know you're into sports. He's like really into sports. I'm like allergic to sports. Like I don't watch any sports. I don't play any sports. Mm -hmm. uh, but the night before we shot, actually this scene right here, which is like my big scene in the movie, <laughs> like, he, there was like a Knicks game and people on the crew were like, this is, um, it's actually, you want this to go well. Right. So it was the, like the first basketball game I've ever watched and I was praying that the Knicks won and they did. I'm sure it would have affected the film, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. The, the next day went really well. He was in a really good mood. Yeah, no, so no Spike takes his, his Knicks game seriously. Now, the, the film, Black Klansman, went to Cannes, and yeah. that was your very first time, or should I say Cannes, France, and that, was that your first time uh, uh, going over to Cannes? Yeah, I'd only heard of it. It's really fun. It's what I thought Hollywood was going to be like before I came here. It's like right. all palm trees and yachts, and, I mean, you know, it's like so much fun, and people... Uh, you know, you kind of are seeing the movie for the first time. Mm -hmm. It was just finished a short time before we went there. And they do this crazy thing when you walk into the theater, it's playing in front of like 3,000 people. Yeah. There's a, uh, a camera on your face. So as you walk in, you do this long red carpet. And then as you go to sit down in your seat, there's a cameraman just pointing a can. You're up on the screen mm -hmm. before the movie starts and, and everyone's looking at you. And then we watched the film and I was so thrilled with how it came together. And then afterwards, it got a 10-minute standing ovation. Mm. I've, I've never, I mean, one minute is like, that's a long standing ovation. Yeah. And they had said, you know, people can boo it over there. It's like a very different culture than here. So I was beyond excited that it got that kind of reception. And the camera guy whips out that camera. And, uh, you know, on screen, it was J.D. Washington. He's, you know, in front mm. of everyone. And people are just you know, saying bravo and cheering. And then it panned over to Adam Driver and people were going, they're throwing roses and yeah. just going nuts. And then it came to me and, you know, I played David Duke in the movie and just everyone got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 there's nothing louder than 3,000 people like stopping clapping. <laughs> and then it panned over to Spike and people, you know, started cheering and standing yeah. up again. I, yeah. I think this is because I did a good job, I'm, but maybe I just did a terrible job. No, that, that, that's exactly what it was. And, and speaking of good jobs, uh, let's talk about your new show, oh, Home okay. Economics. Talk well, look, to us about are, what that's about. I mean, I think about the great dads of all time on television. You're one of those dads. Oh, thank you. I, re I, thank I mean you. it, yeah. Thank you. I, like, I look up to people who, it's such a difficult role. You're kind of, I mean, I have to do narration now, like you were yeah. talking about on the show, and it's really difficult. And you did such a great job of making it look like, Cool, but funny, but mm -hmm. you know, you know that thing actors can fall into. Yeah, right? but now, you never did that. You're now, fast. have you ever worked with children on a set before? No, do you, have, uh, <laughs> do you have some advice for me? <laughs> uh, man, the same advice I was given: never work with uh, children and animals. And we, we're working with both of them on our show. Well, I, I had a, um, my wife and I had a child uh, during quarantine. It was our second. And I thought, I'm really excited to get this show. Mm -hmm. um, one, because it's a great show, but two, because I can, like, get out of the house. Right. And <laughs> I didn't, I mean, this, my wife's hearing this for the first time. But uh, <laughs> I went to work, and the first day I realized, 
oh my God, I messed up. Uh, my character has twins. So I literally was doing diapers in the morning and then clocked out and went to work and clocked in and then they handed me diapers and I went, oh, this is, this is a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're gonna play a game when we come right back with, with Topher Grace. We'll see you guys in a little bit.